All right there, folks, back again for another video. In this one, I thought we would go into Speculation Town uh, and have a think about what might be popping up as part of the launch box miniatures for Age of Sigmar 4th Edition. Now, obviously, in a couple of days, everything is going to be revealed. Games Workshop are going to dive deep into the contents of the new launch box and tell us what is going to be in there, show off all the goodies. But I thought we would use the trailer and some of the uh, screenshots that I've grabbed here from that to kind of intuit what is going to be popping up as part of that launch box and what we are going to get excited about. Now, before we begin, obviously, it's definitely worth saying that uh, they've already talked about the fact that we're going to get lots of miniatures great so there's going to be two spearhead forces in there based on these hallowed knights in the skaven as you can see um we're also going to get terrain loads of book content for playing all different sort of modes there's also going to be card decks and like a battle board in there as well i think which is quite cool um so it's definitely going to be stuffed to the rafters with fun stuff for people who want to dive in and start playing warhammer age of sigmar in the new edition Let's start off, though, when it comes to thinking about the miniatures that we're going to get in the set uh, with the Stormcast Eternals. Um, this seems like the obvious choice for there to be a new mounted Stormcast hero in the set. Um, this is obviously just going to be the model that gets represented in there. Um, the original Warhammer Age of Sigmar set came with the Lord Celestant on the back of a Dracoth, which was Vandas Hammerhand. You could also use him as him. Um, this is obviously like a really nice mirror to that, but using that kind of uh, classic Warhammer Empire aesthetic of the Griff Knight or the Griff Hound kind of thing uh, and building that into the, um, the aesthetic for the box set as well, which is sort of twinned back to that kind of grim dark feel, so it kind of makes sense. Obviously probably going to be one of them in the set, I would assume, leading the way for the Stormcast Eternals. Uh, I wouldn't imagine there's going to be much in the way of weapon options, probably very similar to what we're seeing here. That then means, obviously, uh, that um, there'll be like a, a multi-part kit further on down the road, I would assume. All of this obviously is speculation, as I say, but I would say that is a safe bet that that is going to be our hero for the Stormcast Eternals in the new launch set. Secondly, uh, Reclusians, I think that's what they're called. The new sort of um, chamber that has been, well, the chamber that has been unleashed for the Stormcast Eternals contains these grim fellows. Uh, these are the ones that are walking into battle alongside their um, sort of human um, sidekicks, companions, who help sort of anchor them to the mortal realms. Um, I would say that, I mean, we've already seen miniatures for these. I'm going to say that there's only going to be the one set of those three in there, I would guess, because they're very elite miniatures. Um, well, that's what I'm thinking of in terms of their look and feel anyway. Uh, so I would reckon that we're going to have, as we said, the hero there on the back of the mount, which is that kind of griff charger, and then also this set of reclusians, I think that's what they're called, please correct me in the comments if I've got it wrong, um, who are going to be sort of backing them up as your kind of elite, hard-hitting uh, infantry on the tabletop. Uh, this kind of puts me in mind of the fact that we got Annihilators in the uh, third edition box set, so this feels like it matches up quite nicely uh, in terms of the kind of stuff that they've put into box sets before. Moving on from them, so we've got a hero and some elite options. I would say we're probably going to get one unit of the new prosecutors as well. So this is the new design for them. We've looked at that in previous videos. So if you're interested in getting a close look at that and my thoughts on them and opinions, make sure to go and do that. Um, with their th big spears that they can conjure out of uh, nothing and throw into their enemies and their shields and stuff, uh, I would say that we're going to be getting one set of those. So that's going to be three miniatures possibly for the Stormcast Eternals and those prosecutors to give you a kind of um, flying element that can zoom from one side of the battlefield to the other and take control of the battlefield. Sounds about right to me. Then we move on to some more of the kind of basic stuff as well. So Liberators, uh, we've already seen again uh, sculpts for those. Um, they were some of the first that were shown off for Warhammer Age of Sigmar 4th Edition. Here's where I'm in two minds. Now, they've said that this is going to be two spearhead forces. Um, whether that means you'd be able to use all the miniatures as part of that spearhead, 
or if they kind of mix and match things up. We, I guess we'll see. But this is where I'm debating whether or not we're going to get five Liberators in the box set or, more likely, ten of them. So it would kind of make sense, I think, to have ten Liberators in the box set. One that you can build with um, dual weapons, so twin hammers, and then one that you can build with hammers and shields because that kind of mirrors what they've tried to do with the new war scrolls for the um, the Stormcast Eternals and the new Liberators as well. I think that kind of makes sense. So if that was the case, because then you probably had around 10 Vindictors, didn't you, in the original, in the third edition box set for Age of Sigmar. So maybe that means, as a, as a collective for the Stormcast Eternals, we're going to see something like that Mounted Warlord. So if we go back to this. So we'll see the Mounted Warlord, as you can see there. Three of these Reclusians... Uh, sort of marching into battle as your elite element. Three of the prosecutors flying around the battlefield trying to secure objectives and stuff like that. And then ten of the liberators to kind of crown things off and give you your effectively your battle line units at the same time. That feels like it makes sense to me in terms of numbers. I'm sure there might be a little bit of jiggery-pokery there. They, sometimes they don't tend to throw enough of those kind of like core line troops in there. But that feels like it gives you a solid base when it comes to... Uh, a spearhead force and then building up into something bigger because you just buy more prosecutors or more of the uh, the sort of elite reclusians and stuff like that on the tabletop so yeah that's my thoughts for the stormcast eternals on the other side of things we have the slightly more interesting uh, skaven force now we didn't necessarily get too many close-ups and details on the skaven we have obviously seen some miniatures popping up so like a a, a warlock engineer I'd say we're going to get two heroes coming in for the Skaven, uh, as opposed to the one for the Stormcast Eternals. I think we're obviously going to get the uh, Warlord on the back of this giant uh, monstrous rat, uh, armed with his pistol and his rather cruel-looking warpstone glaive, as you can see there. Makes sense that that fellow is going to be leading the way on the tabletop for your Skaven force. Got a very quick head taker, but with a gun feel to him which i think is quite cool um, and a fun addition to a skaven force no doubt this then means that i reckon we're also going to get the warlock engineer in there as well so you'll have two leaders for the skaven so you'll have the warlord and the warlock both of them don't have any spells again it seems so weird that a warlock engineer doesn't have spells but there we go uh, so that's going to be your two hq options for the skaven now we have already seen also a set of gisales um, there were three of them that were previewed. I'd reckon we're only going to get the one set of Gisales, so that's another three miniatures, taking up to five for the Skaven. Um, this will just be your sort of like elite shooting unit that you'll put at the back. The model, new, new models look fantastic, look really good, definitely worth checking out if you want to see those. Uh, you get a look at them in the trailer, they seem very good at popping things from far away, so a great option for you to throw into your games and have some fun with there. Now, the Skaven box set, I think, is probably going to be more expansive than the Stormcast Eternals one, simply by virtue of the fact that they've got a lot of swarm chaff units in the way, in the way of uh, Skaven clan rats. And that's where it's worth diving into what I think might be popping up when it comes to the kind of bulk of your Skaven force. In the back of my mind, some, some, somewhere similar to the Liberators, I'm thinking maybe they just put 10 clan rats in, but I reckon they're going to put two units of 20 clan rats into the box set. So you've got a good basis for a Skaven force going forward. Is that balanced out in a spearhead force? Maybe that makes me think that they're only going to be 10 clan rats and 5 of the liberators. Uh, so it kind of makes it feel a little bit more like a condensed spearhead force. One of the things that I keep getting reminded of is that there was actually loads and loads of stuff that was included as part of like Leviathan for one before 40,000 10th. And a lot of that made its way into the combat patrols. So I'm kind of weighing up the numbers versus the way that you normally see a spearhead box being put together where you sometimes only get well, like one of the battle line units. And because the Skaven in spearhead get to come back and they get to regenerate, that probably means we're only going to see 10 of them, I would say, uh, in the set. Although I am obviously crossing my fingers for 20. So yeah, maybe at this point, it looks like I might revise my thinking. Maybe there's only going to be 5 Liberators and 10 of the Clan Rats in there. But then that might be there might be ten of the liberators because there's a bun bunch more of additional sort of elite epic stuff for the Skaven getting thrown into the mix as well. Now we've already seen a plastic um, sprue pop up for the rattling gun or the new rattling gun. Um, this is clearly going to get added into the set as well. We've seen the sprue for it. 
definitely going to be popping up in the near future. So one of those probably in the set, rattling around, shooting things and blowing things to pieces. And then the piece de resistance is definitely going to be the new Rat Ogre. Um, I reckon there'll be one of them in the set. Um, although my, my, I'm crossing my fingers for three. I think it's actually going to be the one. Um, but yeah, new look uh, and updated Rat Ogres in the set is my vote. Uh, and probably just one of those just to cap things off. So a slightly more eclectic set of miniatures for the Skaven compared to the more classic set of miniatures that you'd expect for the Stormcast Eternals. So yeah, let's just recap all of that. On the Stormcast Eternals side of things, in terms of models and what I think is going to be in that box set, we're going to have that mounted hero on the back of the kind of uh, griffin there, the, the griff charger, uh, alongside uh, three of those reclusian miniatures and then three of those prosecutors. And then a little bit of a bind, ten liberators probably in that set although they might bring it down to three. I guess we'll have to see. I think ten would make sense. So you've got the different weapon options, uh, and that kind of makes means that you're not going to be completely outnumbered by the Skaven and all their shooting they're going to be getting. Um, on the Skaven side of things, one Warlord on the back of that lovely new Ratty Monster, alongside a Warlock Engineer, so two heroes for the Skavens, three of the Gisales, I'm reckoning, uh, alongside one of the rattling guns and one of the rat ogres uh, there'll probably be uh, a unit of one that can then be sort of bulked up i would say through the course of uh it, more stuff that you get for for the skaven later on down the line maybe they make skaven rat ogres about the size of the big um the big uh dudes with the massive guns that they've now got for the skaven I completely have forgotten the name of those you'll have to let me know storm fiends Maybe they'll have them yeah, blown up to the sides of Storm Fiend so they feel a little bit more epic, a little bit more in line with those. Uh, and that means you maybe only get like one or three or whatever in the unit, depending on how much you reinforce it. Uh, and then obviously, Clan Rats. Ten Clan Rats with the reinforce rule? Probably. Or, although, also crossing my fingers for 20. I don't think we're going to get 20. But yeah, that is my predictions for what I think is going to be the launch box miniatures for Warhammer Age of Sigma on the 4th edition. Uh, let me know your thoughts down below. Do you think my math is off? Um, do you think there'll be more or less of a certain miniature in there? If I've got any of the names wrong, please collect me in the, uh, collect me? Correct me in the comments down below. And uh, yeah, keep an eye out for that live stream later on in the week where you'll be able to dive into Warhammer Age of Sigma and see what they have to offer for the new edition. I am probably going to be getting myself one of those launch boxes. Uh, I'm very excited for Warhammer Age Sigma. I've always loved the lore, and as you can see over the last couple of weeks or so, I've been really excited about what they're planning for 4th edition. I'm a big fan of fantasy, and so it's nice to see this. Getting the love and attention it deserves from Games Workshop. Uh, but yeah, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Like, share, subscribe, do all that good stuff. There's also a Kofi link down there if you like what I do. I always like diving into a dialogue with you folks and seeing what you have to say. So please get involved in the comments and we will have a bit of a natter. Uh, I'm going to get excited for Warhammer Age of Sigma 4th edition. Uh, make sure to drop into the comments, tell me what you think, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.